ברוך הבא לישראל, ראש ממשלת הודו, ידידי נרנדרה מודי. My friend, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, welcome to Israel. Abka suhagete mere dost. Prime Minister, we've been waiting for you a long time. We've been waiting almost 70 years, in fact, because yours is truly a historic visit. It's the first time an Indian Prime Minister is visiting Israel. We receive you with open arms. We love India. We admire your culture. We admire your history, your democracy, your commitment to progress. We view you as kindred spirits in our common quest to provide a better future for our peoples and for our world. Prime Minister, when I first met you at the United Nations three years ago, we agreed to break down the remaining walls between India and Israel. We shook each other's hands, and we agreed to forge a historic, historic partnership for Pargas. We then met again in Paris, and since then we've spoken many times on the phone. But I remember, my friend, what you said in that first meeting. You said, that when it comes to India-Israel's relations, the sky is the limit. But actually, my friend, the sky isn't the limit, because today, even our space programs are working together to achieve even greater heights. The ties between our talented, innovative peoples is natural. It's so natural that we could ask, what took so long for them to blossom? Well, it took a meeting of minds and hearts. It took a, a commitment of our government. We have that today. On this visit, your Make in India initiative meets my Make with India policy. We're setting up a $40 million innovation fund as the seed for even greater cooperation on technology between us. Our partnership extends to water, agriculture, security, energy, many, many other fields. I believe the formula for success is simple. It's I square, T square. That equals Indian talent times Israeli technology. It equals Israel, India's ties for tomorrow. I square, T square. Now, I'm confident, this is the degree of mathematics I remember from my student days, but I'm confident of the, the real mathematics of life. I'm confident of the success of our partnership for many reasons. First is the talent of our peoples. It's been said, Prime Minister, that in Silicon Valley in California, the two most common languages overheard are Hindi and Hebrew. Occasionally, one hears some native English, too. Second, I believe in the success of our partnership because of the great sympathy between our peoples, the natural camaraderie between Indians and Israelis. The Jews of India and the 100,000 Israelis of Indian descent are a wonderful human bridge between our two nations, our two peoples. Third, I'm confident of our success because of leadership. Prime Minister Modi, you're a great leader of India and a great world leader. Your visit to Israel is a testament to that. Our two peoples have deeply held values rooted in ancient cultures, yet we both seek to realize the promise of a better future. I know, and this visit marks that very clearly, I know that we can do even more, even better, together. Welcome to Israel, my friend, Prime Minister Modi. Shukra. Thank you. The Honorable Narena Modi, the Prime Minister of the Republic of India. 
Prime Minister Netanyahu, ladies and gentlemen, Shalom, Lekram, and Isemya Mayot, Lehiat Po. It is my singular honor to be the first ever Prime Minister of India to undertake this groundbreaking visit to Israel. I want to thank my friend, Prime Minister Nathan Yahoo, for the invitation and for receiving me with so much warmth. My visit celebrates the strength of centuries-old links between our societies. Based on these bonds of our partnership has maintained a strong and sustained upswing since the establishment of full relationship, diplomatic relations 25 years ago. Friends, the people of Israel have built a nation on democratic principles. They have nurtured it with hard work, greed, and the spirit of innovation. You have marched on regardless of adversity and converted challenges into opportunity. India applauds your achievements. Today is July 4. Exactly 41 years since Operation Entebbe, the day when your Prime Minister and my friend Bibi lost his elder brother Yoni while saving the lives of so many Israel hostages. Your heroes are an inspiration for the younger generations. Friends, India is a very old civilization, but a young nation. 800 million people in India are below 35 years of age group. The talented and skilled youth of India are also its driving force. They propel my vision to transform India, its industry, its economy, its way of doing business, and its interface with the world. Friends, in our path of sustained high growth and all round development, India counts Israel amongst its important partners. The domains also bring together the creative energy and ideas of the highly skilled youth and entrepreneurs of the two countries. Alongside building a partnership for shared economic prosperity, we are also cooperating to secure our societies against common threats such as terrorism. A progressive partnership in all these areas would shape the scope of my conversation with Prime Minister, my friend Nathan Yahoo. I am also keen to interact with the Indian diaspora in Israel, including a large number of Jews of Indian origin who have enriched both our societies. Excellency and friends, my visit marks a path-breaking journey of engagement, a journey that we are excited to undertake together for the good of our people 
and societies. As we mark together a strong and resilient partnership with Israel will be my intent and focus. I thank you once again for this tremendous welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much.